Hey guys, today let's talk about SAP Business One integration with instant messaging services such as WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, and the others. SAP Business One has been designed with the end user in mind. So this has led to SAP providing a software develop, uh, development kit which allows for SAP partners to be able to extend the functionalities of the system to suit what the customer requires. So the software development kit is used to do end-to-end -end integrations with other softwares and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can be able to integrate SAP Business One to be able to create things like chatbots that can be useful in automating some of the processes in a business environment. So stick around to find out how you can be able to integrate sub B1 with WhatsApp, Telegram. Using this software development kit, we can be able to integrate different applications, some of which include instant messaging applications like Telegram, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, and others. So what are some of the benefits of having such an integration? The first is process automation. When you have integrated SAP with a, with a chatbot, you can be able to automate some processes that are done manually by the users. You can have the users give commands to the system and using the bot and the software um, development kit, say the DIPI, you can be able to do some processes automatically in the system. For example, you can be able to automate uh, sending of customer statements by just giving a command to the bot. The other thing is the customer experience. There are different ways in which your customers can be able to interact with SAP Business One. So most businesses, they develop a web console, that is a web portal, or a mobile application which specifically serves the customers. So using these applications, the customer can be able to check their balances, request for statements, check um, for due invoices and other things. Also raise um, tickets on or give feedback through the application. Now when you use instant messaging applications, we can be able to achieve all these in a human friendly way. So this means the customer is able to interact with the bot and they are able to get served and get the, uh, their questions answered if it's about customer support and also be able to raise their tickets using the chatbots, which I'll be demonstrating in a few minutes. In terms of cost, developing a chatbot is more cost-friendly than developing a web portal or a mobile and, uh, application simply because the infrastructure has already been developed. So whatever you're developing, you're developing on top of an infrastructure that already exists. So also, you do not need to purchase licenses for all your users. Some of the processes that can be incorporated in the chatbot, they will only require one uh, license, that is a professional user license for integration purposes. So there are so many other reasons why you can choose to have your business using a chatbot, which I'll be explaining as I demonstrate the application that I have done an integration with SAP Business One and Telegram. So what I have opened here is my console application, which now is the Telegram bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it. So as you can see, it has started and it gives me a greeting to show that it is running. So what I want to do now is to open my Telegram application. So this is the SAP bot and when you open it for the first time it gives you a message. This is a SAP integration bot for customer self-service. Click start to start using it. So there is a button here to start using the bot. So I'm just going to click on the button. So once I click on the button from the back end, I'm able to see I've received a text from this username which is Fred Chege, which is the username of my Telegram account. So on the bo on the Telegram side, the bot gives me a welcome message which reads, 
Hello friends, again welcome to SAP bought by Soft Consult Limited where you can easily access SAP Business One customer services. Choose an option from the menu below. Then it provides you with a couple of options that you can select. So these are just but a few for this uh, example, but you can be able to do uh, much more using a chatbot like this one. So on the menu you have create ticket. This is when customers want to raise um, issues for support. That's the in SAP it's the service call. Then we have place order if the customer wants to place an order using this bot. Then we have invoice totals. They are able to check their invoice totals on this bot as well. Then the account balance and the pending deliveries and also request for their account statements. So we can start with the account balance. So when you click the account balance, the chatbot is able to give you the account balance as easy in SAP. So I'm going to open my SAP Business One client and log in. Then I'm going to go to business partners and search for that specific business partner, which is Frederick Chege. So as you can see, the account balance is 5,052, which is exactly what the, okay, and 50 cents, which is exactly what the board has given as the response. So then the other thing I, I want to test is to create a ticket. So I'm going to create a service call. So it's going to ask me a couple of questions that I must provide responses to so that it, it can create the ticket in SAP. So it's, it's asking the ticket subject. So I'm going to put laptop not working. Then send. Then it's going to ask me the priority of the ticket. So you can put H for high, L for low going to put high or H then send then it's going to ask me to describe the problem so this is this is where you write the problem description I'm going to put my keyboard broke then once you send that it's going to create the ticket and give you the ticket number as it has been created in SAP. So as you can see, ticket created successfully, your ticket number is two. So if I go to SAP under the service, under the service call, I expect to see a ticket. Yes, the, the last one. So you can see the number is two and the customer is Frederick Chege. Then here is the subject as we have the, uh, put it on the, on the board. Then if I go to remarks, I can see my keyboard broke. So essentially, that's how you can be able to integrate uh, SAP Business One with Telegram using the DIAPI. In this case, I'm using the DIAPI. And you can be able to integrate as many functionalities as you want to achieve. So as you can see here, I'm able also to check for pending deliveries if I have. If I don't, it will tell me you have no pending deliveries. Thank you. Then I can also request for an account statement. Then I'll get a response. Your account statement will be forwarded to your email shortly. Thank you. So in a nutshell, that's how a chat bot is able to work to help your organization. As you have seen in the illustration, we are able to do an end-to-end -end integration with the Telegram and that is usable by anybody who has a Telegram application on their phone. Basically, all you need to do is to map their usernames to particular business partners in SAP so that when they make the request, the bot knows which business partner is making the request and the response that it gives is for that particular business partner. So this is the case for all the other uh, chatbots that you can develop using other um, messaging services like Facebook Messenger. If you also want to use Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to automate using whichever application. So for applications like WhatsApp, you'll have to request to, uh, for the business APIs they do not have open APIs like Telegram. 
so telegram has open apis where you can literally do almost anything so it's you to choose what you want to use and be able to customize whatever it is that you want to customize from sap business one so if you have any questions make sure that you drop a comment or you can also email me and i'll be able to respond to you so thank you for watching see you on the next video and also if you want me to make a tutorial on how i was able to achieve uh, the integration make sure you also comment down below thank you